God bless you and yours through this Christmas and all through the year. Services here take on a different tone with us through the Christmas time. Rather than me being a little preachy, we ponder together, we reflect together on the lessons of our year, on the lessons offered in the midst of our worship, but especially on the powerful meaning that Christ's coming into our lives in Bethlehem and in our life of faith gives all of us and each one of us. I hope that this reflection from our worship services this Christmas help you as you consider the meaning of these holy days and the life that Christ has come to give to you. Christmas can be a frightening time. Stores are busy. Streets and roads are bustling. Everybody forgets how to drive. Each person has an agenda, a goal, that too often these goals are self-driven, self-centered. And what, what is it that we have to do to make Christmas happen for us and our families and our loved ones takes priority over what Christmas really is. Is the baking done? Is the house decorated? Are the gifts bought? Are they wrapped? Is dinner ready? Are you ready? Well, I'm going to let you off the hook. I'm going to tell you about the Christmas perhaps you might be missing. And I'm going to start with the food drive we had here. The appeal that came in for this year was wonderfully received. Next Sunday, I'm asking, don't bring anything for the food bank. Hold off, put it in storage, save it for another month. They've got nowhere to put it. They're stogged full over there. Generosity for the poor and the struggling in our region has been astounding. And I'm honored to be in a community that cares for the least of these so wonderfully well. And the tables of covered in children's books and toys and puzzles were far more than originally inspected. And as well, we've helped the food bank, the family center, find good places to find better resources in coming years. They've even been able to get some deals through receipts that were left in the bags. You know, at the grocery store, I, wish I witnessed much the same thing. Maybe you've seen it where you are, where someone might be in a drive through somewhere and say, I'm going to pay for his coffee too. But what I saw was something wonderful and beautiful on a whole different scale. At a grocery store this Christmas, I was somewhere back in line and looking ahead, I saw a mother. Well, she was the reason that the line was stopped. Her card was rejected, insufficient funds. We all saw that. You can't imagine her embarrassment. And the kids were there, and they were oblivious to all that was going on. They don't understand. But as she looked at her cartload of groceries, the man behind her, without skipping a beat, and that was really the beauty part for me, he reached over and he tapped his card in her place and paid her groceries without even asking, and all he said was, God bless you, and sent her on her way. I've witnessed choral groups wandering the halls of the hospital, and not just singing vacantly in the halls to whoever happened to be there, whoever could hear from the room, but a couple of them going off to the side, into rooms where people were all alone, where no one seemed to be visiting, singing solos, singing a favorite song. And even at the birth of my son, Ben, the chapel in the hospital was filled with people singing as we left that day. It was easy to see how Christmas was present in even a place of sickness and of death, making it no matter what people were going through, a place of life and new life this Christmas. In everything that distracts, 
there are still many people who are not distracted. And as upset as we can get over all the unnecessary busyness of the Christmas season, there is much to celebrate in the life we share, in the faith we live, and in those who go forth in the name of the gospel to offer Christ in all sorts of amazing places, open your eyes to see the joy of Christmas all around you, not just at Christmas, but all the year through. Merry Christmas. Joyeux Noël. Jesus has come to bring joy and hope into people's lives. And while we make it our purpose to tell the story, of Christ's birth, we do well also to share joy and hope and love to bring the renewal of peace to this earth. Give joy to the world around you even as you sing about it, even as you share treasures and gifts that you were busy making or buying. Give joy and you will be giving Christ. And especially for those who have no hope, give them what hope you have. Not a false hope saying everything will be all right. We know how true that is. But give them hope that no matter what they will face in the coming year, in the life to come, they will face it with a fellowship and a support and encouragement. That you will be even courageous for them. And when you are with those who are nearest and dearest to you, give your love to them in such abundance, sacrificially holding nothing back. For what has God held back from you? That you may enter into eternal love. He will not even keep to himself his only begotten son. It can be busy. And it may be that you will be busy before this year is through. But hear the good news. God speaks even in the midst of our traditions, our festivities, even in the midst of all these distractions, God will speak. And if you are ready and willing to listen, you will discover a living message of God's presence and God's love that has been there for you, made ready for you in this Christmas. God bless you all, and may you experience and share the love of Christ in all this season and in all the life that it inspires in you. God bless and Merry Christmas.